welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to do a review today. Um, I haven't done a lot of these. I'm going to try and do more of them, but I thought it was perfect time to talk about these Jane Davenport markers. I have had a lot of fun with them. I've also had a lot of questions about are they just water brush markers? What's in them? Are they water soluble? All those things. So I'm going to compare them to um, a few different brush tip water soluble markers um, that have ink in them and we'll see the differences not only in tip style, uh, how they write, but also color. So purple isn't purple isn't purple. So let's check it out. I have the Jane Davenport markers here ready to go. Um, and I've started the majority of these, but we're going to look at the purple colors. I have Canton 90 pound watercolor paper, so we're going to use this to do testing on. I also have the Echo Line um, brush tip watercolor markers, and these are Japanese brush tip. So uh, this is a brand called SAI. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Say? I don't know. Uh, but they have a purple very similar. So we're going to pull out kind of the similar purples. And I would say um, I'm probably going to do both of these Jane Davenport colors. I also have these Tombow brush tip markers. So if you just look at pen cap colors, these are pretty darn close. And this is where we're going to get into, you know, what is purple. I'm going to pull out the Echo Line purple too. So we're going to look at the tips of all of these and what really is brush tip. Um, because I think that's kind of an interesting thing where they say brush tip pen, but do we actually mean bristles or what are we talking about? So we're going to look at that. And then I have just some water and a brush. So we're going to start with the Echoline brush tip. And this is actually um, not bristles. It is a solid marker tip. And it has firmness. I like to make these types of marks. So we're going to test how each one makes those marks. And then also just get a good swatch of color and add a little water to it. So let's label. So that's the Echo Line brush pen. Now, this is dry for all intents and purposes, so we're going to reactivate this color with some water. All of these are water soluble. And just see. we can get that to do and bleed into. Then I'm going to add a little line of water just to see how that act reactivates the color. So there's Echo Line and that purple. Now we're going to do the SAI. I got these off Jet Pens. These are actual bristles. So very much like the Jane Davenport ones, it's not a solid tip, but really more traditionally brush-like. Which you can see kind of in that mark where it's not making a full solid mark. swatch. Yeah, this one blends really interestingly. And it almost turns like a pinky purple when you add water to it.
So there's that one. So we're gonna do the dark purple Tombow. The thing about the Tombow is you get a dual tip, which I really like. This is also a solid state marker, not actually bristles. So we're gonna do you get different different marks. Now the other Tombow, this is very light. It seems like, uh, based on the pen, oh, I just got water in there, that this would be darker, but it does not. almost bleeds off into nothing because it's so light. So there are those four, um, three different markers, two different colors, or well, they're really all different purple colors, but the Tombow has two colors that we selected. And now we're going to look at the Jane Davenport. So like I said, just from a marker cap standpoint, these are pretty close looking, um, but we're going to see. So giving these a gentle squeeze, we're going to pull some of that color down. This is super dark, but I put a lot of ink down um, because I squeezed this pretty, pretty good. I'm going to get another piece of paper, get a little of the excess off. So there's the, this color is called deep sea. So you can see that's a very, very nice purple. Um, and it really doesn't match this Tombow color at all. It's a richer, richer color. other one over here. This lighter kind of pinky purple is called jellyfish. And 
And these are actual bristles, so the brush tips are not solid state. So all of these are such different colors. And that's one of the things um, that I was kind of answering people for my Instagram at Draw Riot is, you know, they kind of wanted to know like what made these different. Um, and as far as I understood it, and this kind of proves it, that these Jane Davenport markers are her colors. So like her color mix, even though at face value look at them they're pretty close they're pretty close looking to the Tombow but they're not you can see a huge difference between these two colors so here and these two colors so this is um, this is much pinker there is some violet going on in there but it's a lot pinker than this one this is more of a purple a really light purple and this is a pretty dark purple, but not as rich and dark and deep as uh, Jane Davenport's. And then these brushes up here, you know, similar. You can tell the difference here that this is going to be a lighter purple, but it's a pretty nice one. Um, that's actually this one, the Echo Line. So you can still see it's a little bit lighter. And this one actually has some different effect to it, very different than the rest of these, that we have some red and some purple and some edges that are different colors kind of bleeding up and through there. So I would say um, the Jane Davenport markers are definitely worth picking up. They're a lot of fun to play with. You can see how you can um, work them together and reactivate. I think any kind of water soluble material that you can reactivate after it's dry is um, nice to play with, nice to have. They'd be good for travel uh, and just to kind of enjoy in a different way than other supplies you might have. Thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have other brush tip markers. Um, that you think are pretty cool and what they do and what kind of colors they have. Um, but yeah, these are definitely different than any other marker or color that I have. Thanks so much for watching.